Thank you guys for keeping it Brand Plus TV. My name is Kelly Wills and you are watching Fashion Hub Extra. Now, what are you doing at home? I always tell you to step out during the weekends because there's a lot happening that is amazing and interesting. Right now, I am at Bargain Box that is happening in Karen. And what is happening here, basically, we have quite a lot of vendors. I don't know what they are selling. I don't know what they have. And also, there's a lot of food. I didn't come here to eat, but I came here to see what fashion, you know, is all about so come with me and let's get to see what the vendors have in store Quite beautiful and amazing stuff that I am coming across while you know having fun over here. And uh, ladies, we are in the cold season, and in this cold season, I believe there are those who enjoy it, and there are those who are you know mad about it. And the reason is because when it comes to wearing sweaters, some of us feel that they are not stylish enough, you know, to keep them on during the day. And with me here is an amazing brand that I've just seen that is so beautiful that you can you know embrace during this cold season, stylish and very colorful. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm very fine, thank you. Kindly tell us about yourself and your design. Uh, my name is Elena Kuoni and I'm the owner of uh, Kashmir by Kuoni. Okay. Uh, the shop based in Village Market in the New Wing on the first floor. Mm -hmm. uh, we are quite new on the market and uh, we have opened the shop last year, so it is November. Mm -hmm. um, 
I was living before in the warm countries like Dar es Salaam in, uh, in Tanzania and in Conakry in Guinea where the climate is the same like in Mombasa yeah. and when I came first to Kenya in uh, 1st of July 2005 I couldn't believe that Africa can be so cold. <laughs> so <laughs> being Russian I still don't can accept this cold weather, I'm always cold. Yeah. And, uh, I've been working for 25 years for my husband before. Mm -hmm. um, got a little bit older and wiser and decided that it's time to, to become someone. Mm -hmm. So I had idea for this beautiful Kashmir. Mm -hmm. It was maybe a little bit of coincidence how it happens in life. Mm -hmm. And um, I decided that I want to, to show Kenyans um, uh, some of the finest Kashmir of the good quality. Yeah. We don't jeopardize um, and bringing the cheap stuff. Uh, my Kashmir is made from 100% uh, Kashmir and produced in uh, Scotland. The factory who is producing yarn exists since 150 years. So I'm selling only the finest quality Kashmir. So there is no... Um, it is so soft. Kashmir, by the way, is uh, lighter in weight, but seven times warmer than wool. Yes. We have also Kashmir for children, babies. We have a baby blanket. It is not itchy, so people with allergies, they don't have, you know, like a uh, rash yes, or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. And we are selling Kashmir for ladies and gents. We have a big collection of uh, uh, men's sweater. We are selling scarves, shawls, ponchos. What I'm wearing is the poncho, which yes. can be styled in many different ways and can be worn with the trouser or with the dress. And uh, it is, Kashmir doesn't have volume as a wool. Yeah. So if you're traveling you, or you're going out in the evening, and it's not about cold season only. Yes, yes, yeah, that's the, that's the amazing about it. You know, people, is telling, uh, people are telling me, how can you sell Kashmir here? Exactly. Guys, 18. 45, mm -hmm. quarter to seven, when the sun is going down, we are all cold. Everyone around have a sweater. Yes. So people are using jackets, blazer. It's how I had the idea, because you never go out like in Mombasa in little t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It is impossible. You always need to carry something. Yes. It is. It's so beautiful because it's just like you're saying the jackets. Many people will be like, I don't want to wear the jackets. are not stylish. But this is so stylish and beautiful. My, my you stuff is all stylish. Keep you warm through Let me show you the hoodies. For, it is unisex hoodie. hoodie. Yes. Can be worn for mm -hmm. casual, chic. It can be worn with a trouser. It can be worn by a lady. Mm -hmm. It can be worn by a gentleman. Yeah. It doesn't matter which age you are. Mm -hmm. It is very useful for travels on the airplane because usually when you're flying there's uh, so much air coming and some people are getting a uh, bad throat afterwards so use the hoodie we have different colors for men we have a full zips full zip tattle neck design yes uh, and it can be also worn at work so there's um, no issues with the corporate dress code mm -hmm. And the Kashmir is an understatement. So people who know the quality and what it means, yeah. the really look understand. makes you yeah. who you are. So yes. nothing yes. to do. First, the people are judging you by how you look. Yes, and the beauty about it, it's not bulky. It's not heavy. No. It's not too much. And also, there's something over here. So nice. Something very special, exactly. The, uh, this is uh, handmade from Russia. Uh -huh. It's called Lalo cardigan, and it's made Lalo. from Lalo cardigan. Lalo cardigan. This is the way of knitting, uh -huh. and um, it is made in Russia. I'm Russian. Uh -huh. <laughs> by, by German, I'm by passport, I'm German, but uh, well. Yeah, right. Now, of your designs, where do you derive your inspirations from? If people are following me on Instagram, they know I'm completely mad about the fashion, <laughs> and uh, I follow every trend, uh -huh. but. My late mom was always telling me, don't try to copy anyone, be yourself. And uh, I think I was following this advice and um, I just love fashion. And I think it was my calling and uh, it's the right time now. Mm -hmm. And 
I am also against the rules of uh, society giving us ageism that it's not appropriate to wear mini or to wear this uh, exactly. jeans. Everything is appropriate as long as you feel good. Thank you and comfortable and confident. Exactly. Yes. Now before we finish up, you have some accessories that I've seen that you've accessorized in like the poncho that you're having. In our shop we are trying to bring the high quality products. Mm -hmm. Kashmir is expensive yarn and it is expensive not because I'm greedy and my prices are high. <laughs> Kashmir is uh, a process. So to get a, a wool, we are not shaving mm -hmm. the goats, mm -hmm. we are combing it out. Uh -huh. The hair is separated by hand mm -hmm. from oh. grey to the white one. Uh -huh. The top quality hair is underneath, so this is the hair used in the high quality Kashmir. This is what is on the surface is going oh, in the low quality Kashmir. Oh. And that's why the yarn is so expensive. So, so. It's sold by gram. Uh -huh. When we produce a new piece, we have first to knit it, then to put on the scale. We see how many gram of uh, wool was used on, then we can say how much it would cost. Yeah. So the prices are quite expensive. So better save the yeah. nature, buy one sweater and set of yeah. 100. Yeah. And, uh, but in our shop, we try to keep all range of products. So we are stocking some gifts. We are selling French house perfume, Lamberger. Mm -hmm. I'm only one in Kenya official representative of the brand. It's a house perfume. Mm -hmm. And we have a little bit of accessories. So if you need a little gift, of course, you cannot uh, send uh, give a present for 20,000 shillings, but you can buy earrings, you can yeah. buy necklaces. And uh, it is very much in fashion right now, the yeah, brushes. The brushes, yeah, they're very nice to accessorize. The, 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 exactly. The, the, the. So I would use this kind of brushes, for example. Mm -hmm. Just randomly to your trousers. Like this. Like it looks very fancy. Uh -huh. Or you can put it like something like that. And if you put two or three, this is even better. better. So it is uh, no rule. You can put it wherever you want. And you look a little bit different. Yes, I love the question, especially this one. Yes. It is so different, making your jeans pop. I am always different. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's what we look for. Uniqueness, being, you know, standing out because it's all about yourself. Yes, and I call the girls not to copy. Mm. Not to copy anyone, just try to do uh, whatever you like it and don't listen what people are saying. Yeah, especially and the ladies, especially who I'm uh, 47. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, I am 47. Oh. My kids are... 21 and 22 and looking. I'm a proud of it yeah. you know I don't I don't hide it and I don't want to that people I mean I'm not pretending to be younger I love yeah. my age but there's no one who will tell me how to dress and how to look so yes. it's everything yes. here yeah. Hello. Hi, Kelly. I'm very fine, thank you. Bush Princess. Kindly tell us, why the name Bush Princess? Why the name Bush Princess? I moved here 12 years ago mm -hmm. and I wanted to create my own brand and I wanted a name that was had an African touch, mm -hmm. uh, but you can also use uh, in Europe or in, in America or you do a safari. So I thought Bush Princess, because the woman 
who is, wears the bag. She is a bush princess. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> definitely. Uh, now, for it's been 11 years, like you said. How has been the experience so far? It's, uh, it's really interesting. I am very happy. I have a team of uh, 10 people working for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the stitching and uh, they are extraordinary because they are they've been following me for all this time and uh, I'm, I'm very positive yeah, right. that's amazing yes uh, now when you talk about your box collection you it's quite a vast and very you know very co good quality kind of bags so why did you decide to do bags or is it only the bags or do you, you do other things as well? Uh, no, why I decided to do bags because I have an experience with bags in Europe. Uh, I lived in Paris before, so we had a collection there made um, and had three shops. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show the world outside that in Africa we can make good quality bags. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. And we can do them as as good as in Europe yeah. and with the same kind of design. Yes. Now I can see you have quite, you know, amazing, a big, big design, different designs, quite a number. And I've seen also beaded work over here like yes. this one. Do you do the bead as well? So I'm, I'm using a group of my size mm -hmm. women who has been with me also for, for almost the same amount of years, 11 years. And um, I encourage them to bead so they can pay for the school fees so it's like a, not a charity they are paid of course yeah. and I try to do as much beading as I can because I think it's very important also to show the tradition of the Maasai yeah. uh, what I can do yeah this is so beautiful yeah, yeah. creating employment that's so beautiful and now your designs where do you derive this inspiration from because it's Quite, it's it's a lot. It's like every every in a year you can basically say you have you know three collections that are different and beautiful. So why do you derive this dish? So I get the inspiration from here, from uh, Kenya. I particularly like to go to CBD to downtown. I like to walk around where everybody tells me I'm crazy, but I love it because it's really where you see people. It's busy. It's and you. It's, it's kind of refreshing, exactly. Yeah. And then you mix that with my experience from overseas and when I go on vacation in Europe from where I am. And then you look at the colors from here and the colors of uh, how people wear colors here. And that's, that's how you then figure out the collection of that. Yeah, so, no, so no, now, this journey, how has been the experience on the business perspective? It's I like it. It's challenging because as I'm a, a perfectionist, everything has to be perfect because also I do my export to, to Europe and to, to America. It, ne it needs to be and I, I want it to be as perfect as a bag that's made in Europe. Uh, so I would never grow more than I do today because I am the one who is supervising everything myself. So I don't have a supervisor. I have a team of... of um, people stitching and then I'm supervising uh, the finishing. Uh, so I wouldn't grow. I like to work like that and I like to work very closely with my, with my staff. I also work a lot with um, people who are doing brass. Yes, because I see you have, you, you've done quite a lot of exactly. uh, design, uh, yeah. decorating. Yeah, exactly. You're so beautiful. So this is all made in Kenya and it's all recycled brass. And I'm very proud to say that this brass and these hooks are exactly the same quality as in Europe. So it, it's so it's, beautiful. Yeah. All right. So how about these decors? Yeah. For this, this is, this is my do? bush princess. So it's the depending logo. on how it's the logo exactly. Oh, so it's a B yeah, it's a and, and P. A as well. And then you can do it different. All right. So you usually play with the logo. Yeah. This is so beautiful. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, and all the rings and everything is made here. The leather is also locally sourced. It's from uh, Athi River, so there is a big tannery. I do my colors myself. And uh, yeah. Different touches as well. And different touches, exactly. I have some suede, I have some leather. And uh, yeah. Now, before we wind up, how do you take care of these bags? Whoever gets <laughs> a bush princess kind of bag, how will you tell them to wipe? Use a neutral kind yeah. of uh, polish. 
The thing is, for the leather, you can just uh, wipe it a little bit because it's a little bit dusting, can yeah, sometimes when it doesn't rain. <laughs> and for the suede, it's a little more delicate. You have to either protect it with some spray you can find here, or you can just also brush it a little bit with a with a soft brush, exactly. This is so amazing. So for whoever wants to buy, where can they get them? Where is your shop physically? My located? physical shop is at House of Treasures in Karen, in front of the uh, Hub Shopping Mall, uh, where I have my whole collection. Or online, it's www.bushprincess.com. That's why I usually tell you these are the places you should be coming. Don't just stay at home because the amazing and beautiful stuff that I'm getting to see and interact. And one way or another, these are the kind of things that add, you know, fun to your life. And with me, I have a lady who has beautiful, beautiful stuff that I would really like her to tell us and bring light to something that you don't know and I also don't I didn't know. So hi, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Amazing stuff. Now before uh, this is what I will start with. What can you tell us about this? Okay, so we, we've just um, designed a range of straws because obviously one-use plastic is something we're trying to get rid of worldwide, not just in Kenya. So we, we've made the straws as a little gift packet. So they, they come um, in little boxes already um, to give away as a perfect gift from Africa. Um, they come with our logo, they come with a little cleaning brush, and we're hopefully being kinder to our planet. This will be thoughtful and amazing, and you can even carry it. Yes, absolutely. It's to actually be carried in your handbag, so whenever it's needed, you've, you've got it. Yes, and whenever you serve that drink, use this, spread the message. Yeah, we've had enough of plastics in this world. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Now, how about the bottles? Well, that leads us on to our range as well, because hopefully at some stage, in the near future, Kenya will get rid of this one-use like plastic, if we like it or not. Yeah. And so we've come up with our own range. Yeah. We've um, screened the material off a, a Kenya Kanga print, and we've wrapped our stainless steel bottles in, in the Kanga print of um, the material. And um, these are hot and cold bottles. They keep it cold for 24 hours and warm for 12. So this is your alternative use to plastic. Oh, beautiful. Yep. This is a very nice way because I've seen guys that try to do these as a DIY activity at home. Yes. And they use the real fabric. But you know, you have to take care of it, keep on changing Absolutely. because of getting wet, probably this the liquid spilling on it. And this is so beautiful, so thoughtful. Absolutely. Yes, Thank now you, you have bags. And yeah, we do. The bags, yeah. the, the beautiful about, the thing about the bags is you've decided to have the travel bags yes. in the, you know, the texture that we always, we that always identify us as Africans. It's so beautiful. So how do you do this? So what, what we've basically done is this is your hand luggage piece of material uh -huh. that you can pull along with you. We, what we've done is we've created it around the Kenya Kanga mm -hmm. and, um, and use that as your travel bag. So we, we've basically got your little wheelie bag so it is actually on wheels yes. and um, so as you're traveling you take your your bag with you absolutely and then you all pops down and you've got your yeah. to-go luggage yeah, and you won't lose it yeah for those of us who love traveling and these are very nice of you know representing your own country hey, absolutely <laughs> exactly exactly yes. and yeah. we have them obviously in a number of prints and in in this range, um, yes. absolutely. Yes, you can see we have the travel, we have the duffel bags for those who you know. We do, we do. And then we have our weekenders, which yes, um, weekenders. which are great hand luggage bags. You can, you know. This, you use the same, same, the same, same approach to make these the same, same that you use that? Yeah, we have our workshop. And um, yeah, so these, these ones here are 
They are all handmade in our workshop in Mombasa, and um, they fold down at the side. So you've basically got two. You've basically got two styles in one bag. We then bead it. And um, they've got little stilts at the bottom, so it yeah. keeps it off the ground. Yeah. I, I, I would like really to show the, our viewers the, the, this part. Try fold it, please, if oh. you would. Yeah, sure. It's a lot easier to do when you're yeah. actually, um, <laughs> when it's full. But there you go. Yeah. So basically yeah. gives you a different effect when you fold down the other side too. Or when you, 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 you have less items inside, you exactly. fold it if you have yeah. quite... If you have more, yeah. you, um, and it's just a little bone there. Yeah. And you stand out. So, so travelling in style, yeah. in colour. Right. Now, uh, something else that has really caught my eye is uh, this. What do we have here? So these are little ice buckets. So they, they basically they come with a little set of tongs mm -hmm. and they are stainless steel on the inside. So you put your ice in there mm -hmm. and you're good to go for all your sundowners. It just stays icier <laughs> more. <laughs> Absolutely, you've got ice for all those needed drinks. <laughs> keeping keeping yeah. it cold. Mm -hmm. Sorry, should I put that? Oh, beautiful, this is so Thank nice. You. And uh, what's that? And this is a cool bag. So again, it is insulated and um, pop all your drinks and your um, and it's waterproof on the yeah. inside. So you pop all your drinks in there, keeps everything hot or cold. And again, all used out of the kanga okay, material. Yeah. And then you can put it on the beach. Uh -huh. By yeah, the pool, it so doesn't get wet. Yeah. yeah. So beautiful. Thank you. So if anyone wants to get all your products, where can they find you? So we have it. Well, we're in Mombasa. We're based in Mombasa. Our workshops in Mombasa, but we have an online platform, and it's at um, www.ingirigiri.com. Now, something else that we forgot to tell our viewers: the name of your brand. I'm so sorry, viewers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the name of the brand is Ingiri Giri. Yeah. And um, yeah, and our logo is the warthog. Why the name Giri Giri? Yeah, this is a question I'm asked continuously. Yeah, yeah. And um, it is my favorite animal, bush animal. It's uh -huh. got so much attitude. Is it the warthog? It is the warthog. Oh my God, and I love the character uh -huh. of that animal. So when I set up this company, it inspired me with its attitude. And it's so I am um, curious. Absolutely, absolutely. And on the inside of all our bags, if I can just show you, um, our lining on all of it is hand screened. <gasps> You've embraced it, yeah. <laughs> all of them. Totally, every single bag that we make, yeah, has our little logo on the inside. Uh, that's well. so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, yes, this is amazing. Incorporating something that inspires you <gasps> into yeah. what you do. Absolutely. And now, as we wind up, something else that uh, I really want definitely to, to tell our viewers or share with them because I didn't know as well the umbrellas. So the umbrellas how do you make how do you make the umbrellas the you know make them so th like this so all our umbrellas are our range of umbrellas we have the walking stick and we have pop-up umbrellas which can go in your handbag um, and what we've done is we've we've chosen the kanga that we want to work with so it's all screened off a Kenya Kanga and then we've screened it onto waterproof material oh, yeah, yeah. and then uh, put it onto the mechanisms which we have brought in. And uh, you match your umbrella with the outfit? You, <laughs> you can match with your outfit, you, we can match it with a handbag Bag, for yeah. you, we can match it any way you want it to be matched, but yes.
just loving everything. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm very fine, thank you. Tell us the name of your brand. Yes, tell us. So my brand is called Lila Bear, um, and it means the outcome of creative play plus like bare skin, like it feels good on bare skin. Oh, oh bear. <laughs> bear, like bare skin, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, if we will look at specifically what you have here is you, you told me this is your new collection. Yes. And uh, it's so unique, it's so different, something that I've never seen. And I believe uh, this fabric is what sometimes we've seen on our t-shirts. Yeah, but this is a special but kind of jersey. Yeah. But this is different, it's, it's, it has a different uh, texture. It's because it's organic, yeah. so you can actually tell that you can feel the difference. Um, but yeah, so we source our fabric from uh, Cotton Made in Africa, the jersey at least. So Cotton Made in Africa is an, an initiative that supports um, African farmers and we work with rain-fed, organic, sustainable cotton. The farmers get paid very well for it and it's dyed and spun here and um, yeah, we, we make it in our atelier in Nairobi. Yeah, and uh, if we look at this t-shirt, is, is it a blouse, a top? It's a, yeah, I'm actually wearing the t-shirt version of this, so this is the back, uh -huh. but it's oh, like, oh, this, is this is the front, so it's super simple. You see what I'm wearing, uh -huh. and then it's also got the, the pom-poms in the back, back. yeah. See. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be a bit a bit risque yeah, for us. But maybe some brave soul will will do it in reverse one day. Who yes, knows? So see, have, uh, yeah, yeah. So this is our sort of one of our signature looks. It's a high low. Mm. All right. Now, one thing that is really interesting is the kimono. Yeah, the thing that started the brand in the first place is this exact kimono. We call it our signature. So it's um, genderless or unisex and it's free size and it's like you can wear it in so many different ways. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Come in different colors, right? They do, yeah. So we source um, post-production industry waste as well, which means that manufacturers will produce extra of fabrics that they don't necessarily use and then they burn the fabric at the end of the season so instead of them burning the fabric we buy it and we produce our signature styles in whatever color whatever fabric yeah whatever works really and i can see you have something like what you have yes this is the olivia jacket this is a special one though this is the first sample that we did but we put some vintage embroidery on it which is really special yeah so beautiful. So, same design. I mean, you're the same same person who's uh, designed the blazers. Yeah, I've I designed. Yeah, everything I'm wearing except my jeans. But um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now, aha, uh -huh, we have something else which is so nice over here. Maxi slit dress. Yeah, um, pockets big enough for a massive smartphone, which is my favorite. Yeah, um, I've learned oh, lately the ladies are really appreciating and embracing dresses and skirts that have pockets. Yes, yeah. I don't believe in women or men wearing anything without pockets because we always have stuff to carry around. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just find that it's uh, nice because it makes you feel more comfortable, you know? Yeah. yeah. So what really inspires this kind of designs? Um, my inspiration comes from the ability for the human body to move. It's a really strange concept, but I strongly believe that people should come home at the end of a long, hard day and want to relax as opposed to change out of their uncomfortable, starchy clothes. So um, anything that's versatile and soft and um, yeah, comfortable. Like for wearable. the trousers, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What you, like for the trousers, they're so comfortable. Yeah. Like you can still chill at home with these. Yes. And feel. You can do yoga in these. I do yoga yeah. in mine all the time. But then, if I throw on a pair of boots and a nice shirt, then I can go out to a meeting or a date or whatever yeah. in the same. So yeah. It's all about dressing it up or down. Yeah. So. Are you locally available? I am very much. Where I'm a Kenyan brand. So Lila Bear is located at Designing Africa Collective at the Village Market. We stock at Wasp and Sprout. And we also do our own uh, pop-up series called The Concept. So right. The Concept is a super cool collective um, of, at you know various locations around the city. We change it every, every couple of months. So new product. Um, new designers that we collaborate with and we do our own sort of thing or people get in touch on instagram that's another right, yeah. yeah you can see we have a different fabric yes yeah it's a cotton jacquard it's so beautiful if you can see like the pattern is woven into yeah. the fabric and then this is handed hand bead work that's done oh it. yeah it's really special 
It's a vintage Beautiful. piece. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank Thanks for stopping so by. So guys, I just came across a very, very beautiful stand. And I'm saying beautiful because whatever that is in on this stand is something that I call or I refer as character, jewelry. And I am with Kipato Unbranded. Why Kipato Unbranded? The word unbranded, why? Uh, Kipato means income. Yeah. Unbranded is because we are not just a brand, uh -huh. but we are more of for the people, mm -hmm. by the people. Mm -hmm. So our tagline is for everyday people, everyday wear, for everyday person. Mm -hmm. So our jewelry is all about being affordable. Mm -hmm. So we try our best not only to have it affordable, but also nice uh -huh. quality pieces. Yes. So we work with, we are a social enterprise that work with artisans from slums like Kibera. Mm -hmm. We support them and give them fair wages and fair living. Mm -hmm. And we're also about being eco-friendly. Yeah. So we use brass and recycled bone, like this is recycled bone. Mm -hmm. And like the pieces at the back are recycled bone, mm -hmm. but dyed. So we, we have variety, so. yes. So that's dyed bone that comes in different colors. Okay. Um, you say dyed? Yeah, Bones it's, can, it's, are dyed. yeah. Uh, we use cows, uh -huh. ca bones coming from cows. Okay. So we recycle that bone instead of it being thrown away and mm -hmm. rotting. Then we make this nice jewelry from that. Yeah, this, uh, you know, uh, me, I would have thought it just color them. <laughs> you know, now, now uh, there's something about this kind of jewelry, my fellow viewer. Um, if you notice, these are not the kind of jewelry that you will go somewhere and you know find them. Yeah. Only like for this brand only, the Kipaton branded, that's where you'll find that design. And um, I refer these to as uh, jewelry with a character, you know, because like for example, if um, I'm an African, you know, I really love Africa, I'll, you know, definitely come and get this one, yeah. which is so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And we make them in different sizes, yeah. so... Yeah, so if I was to try like that one, and I believe this is your latest collection. Yes. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Ladies, <laughs> men, here is your wedding band. This is so beautiful. This is so nice. So how now, after some time, because definitely this is not how it will look like after because of wearing. So what do you do when it comes to cleaning or maintaining it? You just polish them. You can either, if you have so many brass pieces, you can invest in a polish mm -hmm. that's specifically for brass. Uh -huh. That's available at Chandarana mm -hmm. or Nakomat stores. And then you can... For these ones, I think I know. Yeah. Vinegar. Yeah, vinegar or lemon juice. Just add a bit of water. Some people, some people say beer, uh -huh. others uh -huh. toothpaste. Uh -huh. So it's upon you. And then also, if it's our product, you can bring it to us and we polish you it for free. Oh, for free? Yeah. Awesome. So, services. yeah. So Amazing. clients follow us wherever we are at uh -huh. events. They come bring their pieces. We polish them for them. Yeah. This is beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Jewelry. And so, then we yeah. have it in... Mm, yeah, <laughs> We've said to wear them differently. Yeah, like. Two. Yeah, so, uh, guys, ladies, gentlemen, so this is one of the simplest ways of expressing yourself, going for something that is, you know, out of the ordinary. Because people will wonder, I'm wearing a ring, but you put on a ring and it is something like this, and it is beyond a ring now. It yeah. is, becomes a statement, a style, you know, this is so beautiful. So, if one wants to get your brands, where can they get them? Uh, we have a store, we are located at LEC Plaza on Kilimani Road, the same building as House of Leather. And we are also stocked uh, by different stockists, like we are located at Two Rivers Mall. There's a, there's a shop called Designer Studio, we are in Kampala, we are in the UK, we are in the States. Beautiful. And we ship and deliver while... Oh, amazing. Yeah. Now, like, before I leave, what inspires you? Uh, we're just basically inspired by the everyday person because everyone wants to feel beautiful and look good in jewelry and it doesn't have to be all crazy expensive so our jewelry is 
as much we try as much as possible to be affordable but at the same time make sure that these artisans get their fair wages so for every purchase this artisan gets their fair wage we don't buy those pieces and then come sell them and then of which by the way it's something that we shall be sharing with the viewers Many people usually wonder, like our local designers, be it jewelry, bags, clothes, whatever, shoes, whatever that is, quite a number of people will refrain from buying or, you know, shy away from buying basically because of the pricing. But, you know, just like you've shared, every product over here has gone, like you're saying, you work with artisans from yeah, yeah, Kibera. So, you know, at the end of the day, you need to have something for your own, definitely, because this is a business and for them as well, you know. So those are the things that I think we should bring to light and make our viewers understand and be able to support our very own brands. Because yeah. we just started with one artisan, then mm -hmm. it grew to two, two then three, then under those three artisans mm -hmm. are other artisans. Mm -hmm. So one of the artisans has even been able to build a home back in his village. Just, and we just turned three in November. So can you imagine every purchase yeah. someone makes, makes you're artists. impacting that person's that life amazing. and their family, yeah. not only that person, the family and the people working under them. That is so nice. So if that's not charity, I don't know what it is. is. It's doing amazing to the, for the society. Now, so these are the kind of jewelry I would really, uh, I would really advocate for, and they're nice, they're beautiful because hey, there's but they, there's something amazing when you have a jewelry, and you're saying you can be able to brag. You'll never find this one in anywhere else. You yeah, know? unless it's imitation. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. My people, if you really want to stand out and be unique, it's all about exploring. Explore and you'll be able to discover things and ideas that are amazing and you can use in your life and also to spice your fashion sense. Like for example, I've discovered, you know, jewelry that I can say have some character, you know, that is all about me. How about you? I don't know. Travel, explore and you'll discover things you never know. I've been your host Kelly Wills. Until next time, keep it Brand Plus TV.